four, three, two, one, blast. In a world covered by endless water, hundreds of thousands of people the world over were captivated by the story of a blue armored boy and his friends as they scoured a flooded world in search of a legendary treasure. Japanese video game publisher Capcom Entertainment wonderfully wove this heartwarming tale through their beloved archetype, Rockman. Better known in the North American market as the blue bomber, Mega Man. From 1987 to the late 90s, the Mega Man franchise had seen success in many forms. And with the jump to 3D gaming, Capcom would introduce the world to a new spiritual incarnation of the Blue Bomber, Mega Man Legends, in 1997, and Mega Man Legends 2 in 2000. Mega Man came out when I was born. And every year they would come out with a new game. So by the time that the, the fifth game came out, I was five years old. Back in uh, early 2000s, picked up the PS2 and got my hands on the first Mega Man Legends and just fell in love with the series. It takes one of my favorite games and uh, turns it into an action RPG, and that's awesome. With Mega Man stranded on the moon at the end of Legends 2, and after 10 years of waiting, fans were ready to bring the Blue Bomber home. In 2010, Capcom announced that development on Mega Man Legends 3 would begin with an unheard of level of fan participation. Fans voted on everything from the personalities of NPCs to the design of a new heroine that would prove essential in bringing Mega Man home. Participation deepened as fans were then able to submit and vote on concept art of mysterious ancient machines that slumbered in underground ruins, down to what mechanical contraptions the player would face in boss battles. Never before had there been a level of transparency between game developers and fans. So it goes without saying, fans were crushed when it was cancelled. But nobody could have understood the fans' loss more than the girl that has always stood by the Blue Bomber's side. Mega Man's lifelong friend and loyal spotter, Roll Casket. My name's Hope, and I'm with Get Me Off the Moon, and I'm uh, Roll Casket today. Gotta work on that track coupling, so you'll head on to that. Yeah. Mega Man Legends 3, this cancellation actually was announced on my birthday. Uh, in July 18th, 2011. Basically, the internet exploded with just uh, really, really angry people. Everyone bashing Capcom, trying to start petitions here and there. But there was one group, Get Me Off the Moon, became the central place for protesting the game in a, a tasteful manner. It started out as a Facebook page called 100,000 Strong for Bringing Back Mega Man Legends 3. Since then, we've teamed up with Triple E Houston. Uh, a NASA approved rocket group in Texas. We're gonna launch a rocket. Break off. <laughs> Look at this thing. Awesome. Currently, I'm the president of Triple E Houston, uh, number two. Uh, but fixing for, to get for rid of that. Hour. For another hour yeah. until we have our meeting, and then I get to get out of that. And oh. uh, I'll be the prefect, which is, I don't know what the prefect does, but he looks like he certifies people to get their level one and level two certifications and stuff. We are here monthly. We do monthly launches. This is our our gig. This is what we like to do is throw rockets up. Where? I'm Jesse Judy, cinematographer for Get Me Off the Moon's rocket launch, a campaign for raising awareness about bringing back Mega Man Legends 3. I want to see a sweet rocket launch uh, promoting Mega Man Legends 3. Yeah. <laughs> Same here, it's the sense of community. I'm Chad. <laughs> I'm Mike. I'm Chris. I'm Tim. I'm Jennifer. Where we're from, there really aren't a lot of fans out there, and so 
we just love events like this whenever we can come and see and meet the rest of the families, or at least more of it. On August 25th, 2012, Get Me Off the Moon lived up to their name when they reached 100,000 followers. Y'all all need plumbing? <laughs> Everyone needs plumbing, right? <laughs> Mega Man is more than a game. It brought us all together from all around the world. Uh, nothing like that has ever really happened in the gaming industry before. <laughs> One hundred thousand people, all over the world, want this game back. launch of Get Me Off the Moon's Rocket 28 to get Mega Man back. Alright, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. We set out to accomplish what Capcom promised its fans from the very beginning. We helped roll launch a rocket <laughs> into freaking space. Just shows that these fans have the same spirit and tenacity as the Blue Bomber. I mean, even Roll, that's why, that's why Roll is such a great mascot for this campaign. She represents everything that the fans are feeling. In her own right, she has the same tenacity as Mega Man. She's her own blue bomber, and that's just like the fans. Every one of us that have ever played Mega Man, we are Thank you, Jesus. Whatever Mega Man is, Jesus. I never thought that. Oh, cool. Pay attention to your fans. We are Mega Man.